Hey everybody, welcome back again and thank you for joining me. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Yvonne Nelson and a new revelation. A lot of us didn't know her beyond the cute, blessed, ever beautiful, slender, tall, a girl who have it all going for her. That was all we knew about her until she pick up the courage to write an incredible book, which she, she titled, I am not even Nelson. And for me, I thought I'll be sitting down here today with the book in my hand. Uh, because I had wanted to go out there today and catch up with Yvonne Nelson at the Accra Mall at Silver Bed Cinema because she promised to sign some of the copies. But what I was thinking of is, my God, I have it in mind to buy the book, but that would be when I go to Accra. I'm thinking from where I live right now, travel all the way to Accra, then first I'll go to University of Ghana campus bookshop to buy the book then i'll now head to silver bed it's gonna stress me then after that after when it gets to my turn she signs it then i'll come back home that will be a day a whole day so i felt like okay let me just leave it go online and get a bit and of course this there are some parts of the book that have been trending a lot on instagram twitter and even on youtube here. so let's talk about it because there are a lot of lessons to be learned in that book but first, I want us to um, give us some, you know, credit for doing such an amazing job, for having the courage to put her life out there, her entire life out there, without withholding anything back from the public. She takes only a courageous and honest person to do what Ivan Nelson have done. You know, a lot of us knew nothing to, we knew little to nothing about her. Or if you ask a regular person today about Yvonne Nelson, maybe a fan of her who have been following her, they'll tell you, okay, Yvonne Nelson is a Nigerian, I mean, is a Ghanaian actress who was abandoned by her father, who, you know, have nothing good to say about her dad and all that. There's this particular part of the book that talked about how she got pregnant for a Ghanaian rapper by name Sakodi. But you see that part, to me, that part is nothing like, at some point, all of us, including me seated here, we have done an abortion before. Mm -hmm. Yes. At some point, your holy self may have done that. If you have not done it, you will do it. But I pray you don't do it. Uh, maybe your family member have done it. So it is nothing of a big deal. It's not something we've not heard of before in our society. So for me, I don't see why people are talking about, hey, Sakadi is married. They have, he's, if Sakadi is married, you are talking about the things that you people did before. Hello, Nawel. But that is your opinion, their opinion, not you. Okay, but except if you too. That one is not, you know. It's like, yeah, if the guy got you pregnant, like, you don't know that 85% or please, oh, I'm being too nice, 95% of the men that have not married you, that sleeps with you, when you get pregnant, they will deny you. You don't know. They will tell you they don't want the baby. Even though they know they are, is their baby, they will still tell you to go have an abortion. They will tell you that. To get it. It's a natural thing with men. As long as he has not married you, it just takes a few of them that will quickly, when they see, at first they still want to say you should abort. When they see you are stubborn, some of them will come back but some will not so if you say about i don't know i'm not saying she about to but i don't know but let me just tell you that truth so it's hard for for people to even blame sakodi i don't i don't get it two sinners commit sin uh, the guy one of the sinners say you know do you know sin past that level that he's not gonna do it's nothing to get it it's something that we are all known we are all used to in our society so i don't even see that part of the book to be a big deal the biggest deal for me in this book is a part where she talked about her father her paternity her life growing up in deceit growing up not knowing who her biological father is gro growing up without the love of a father that is the part that got me tears in i had i couldn't wait to get my own copy of the book before i talk about it because of course it's everywhere and i have it here on my phone because i had to do some screenshot it's too much because i want to analyze it and tell us some things and some lessons that needs to be learned in it for me as someone who have dealt with that growing up without fatherly love i know what my sister Yvonne nelson is going through and what she have gone through she has seen it all there's always that thing missing in your life as long as that fatherly love is not there there's always something missing in your life 
even though you accomplish a lot, there's still that vacuum in your heart that still need to be filled. Like you wish, it's not something that anybody should feel. It's something that should be shouldn't be left vacant. It shouldn't be that vacuum should not be. There shouldn't be a chance for it. But since there's a chance for it, some of us experience it. I can relate to this her story. So in her case, she have grown up thinking that her father hates her. Her father is deadbeat. Her father does not love her. Whereas this is not her biologic father. She took her a long time to discover that this man, man whom she have talked about in all of the interviews she have granted, whom she have, you know, talked horrible of, is not her biological father. The man is not responsible for anything. He owe her nothing. Yet she didn't know. She was accusing him of not giving the love. He's not, he's not giving anything. He's not there for her. He doesn't love her. So she was confused. She didn't know. But she thought it was normal because her mom already told her the man hates her. The man is deadbeat. The man is this. So she believed and lived with it. Now, by the time she find out that that man was not her father, when the man finally opened up, Mr. Nelson Oko finally opened up, that he is not her father. By the time she got down there to go and apologize and possibly ask if the man knows who could be her biological father because, you know, in that scenario where you are and you are not, but maybe you have seen who came to steal. I thought you are the thief, but you are not. But when the police came, they catch you there. Did you see who came, to, who, who was there to steal? Did you see? So you get it. Do you understand? So on getting there, the man already passed on. She couldn't apologize. She couldn't get more information from the man. She felt bad. Of course, the DNA test came out and she is not blood related to this man. This is a man you grow up knowing and he has other kids. He has been showing their love except for you. That is a sign that it's time for a DNA test, dear sister. Let us learn from Yvonne Nelson's book. She didn't write this book to do anything with it because already where Yvonne is, she's okay, okay? She's fine. She's okay. She don't need any sympathy for her to be great, for her to be okay, you know? But I think she's doing this for majority of people out there, for a lot of people to learn from because look at her now, look at her, like... Learn from her mistake. For me, the greatest lesson in it is very simple. As a mother, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Tell your child the truth. Because this lie that you're telling today to cover up, maybe out of desperation or out of helplessness or out of whatever, that lie you are telling today to cover up something, to make your child, you know, to make your child forget, forget about that. It's going to turn back tomorrow and be very harmful to you. You know, it will come between your relationship with your child. Now, Yvonne that celebrates her mom on every Father's Day, she celebrates her mom. She sees her mom as the hero. And this woman enjoys all of that. All of the praises she showers on, she showered on her instead of her father. And uh, thinking that, okay, my mom sacrificed for me, even though my dad abandoned me, not knowing the truth. Now you finally know the truth. She knows that she has lived all her life in deceit. You have deceived her. Okay, now that you are alive, lucky her, tell her the truth. Tell me who my father is. Just say it. I will go in search of him. Keep me clear. Just tell me something. And then this woman is saying she will not. So according to the book, she and her mother are not on talking terms. For over a year now, she has not seen her mom. What is that? What is going on? What does that teach you? Please stick your ground. Don't let the society keep you small by making you lie to your offspring. I would have been that. That could have been me. My daughter, Wendy, would have ended up like that, growing up in deceit, like me lying. Come on, I've been a job babe. Oh. Normally, normally, apart from being a job babe, I'll be a woman. If I wanted to do this, do you know that I can pull it off? Immediately, I knew that I missed my period because I even got to discover before a month I could do bad things with one guy and just put everything on his head and say he's the one because I want to manipulate the whole thing. I want to change the story. I don't want to, to um, I don't want a Ghanaian to father my child. You know, after all, I was in Nigeria and there are a lot of guys who were, 
who were after me, who wanted a, a piece of me. If I had given a piece of me and they come up with story of I'm pregnant, our Nigerian men, they will marry you. Majority of Nigerian men marries you based on pregnancy because of, especially the guys from the East, due to the culture. Because if you have a child for a man that has not married you, some parts in the East, as long as you give birth to that child without without the bride price paid, without the marriage rights done, that child is not for you. So a lot of men knows this thing and they don't want their blood to be taken away from them while they are alive. So if I had wanted to pull that, don't you think I could pull? But no, I was looking at the bigger picture. Where is the bigger picture here? My child's future, my child, you know, one day waking up to discover that the child, oh my God, this child is, I didn't want to try. I didn't want to try. Yes, at the hospital when I went for maternity, um, antenata, they used to ask me, where is your husband? I said, I don't have a husband. Uh, where is the father of your baby? I said, I don't know where he is, but he's at home. He's somewhere. Case never closed. They were looking at me in a way, like I could see the nurses and doctors looking at me like, it, they were, like it, whatever I was saying was weird to them. But who cares? Eh? Anything I want to, who cares? I bear the shame for my child not to be ashamed of herself in future. Stop lying to your kids. I know a friend of mine who, you know, an old friend, please, we've lost contact for many years now. Don't, in fact, before I became a mom myself, I've lost contact with my dear friend. She had a child and she told me one day that she lied about her paternity, the paternity of her baby. It was it shocked me. I was so embarrassed. I felt like that information was too much for me. But what can I do? She's my friend. I don't have to, to go. And, and I asked her, do you know the father? She said, no. At that time, she had had something to do with more than one guy. So she don't really know. But one guy had to take it. She had to say, is that guy? Obviously, he's not the one. And the guy knows. He's not doing something about it. He doesn't show love. He doesn't care. Now, let me tell you one thing about men. Men will never speak up to say, oh, I'm not the father of your child. I'm not. They will keep quiet. The only thing is they will not do anything about it. They will not take responsibility. They will not care. They will not show love. They will not be there. They will not acknowledge. The only time you see a man come up to say to the media or in the media that he is not the father of this is when he's married, legally married to that woman and she do this to him. The DNA test comes negative. That time he wants the whole world to know how terrible his wife is, how much he has been cheated upon. Otherwise, he has not married you. You have a child for him and he's not his child. You force it on him and he knows he will not even acknowledge that child. And there's nothing you can do. He knows we're confident that if you go to, if you take him to the police or the ch social welfare for child support, he will tell you to let us go for a DNA. And if you make him sponsor for, for that DNA test, when it comes out negative, you are going to repay him. These men will not even, they won't shake. So when you see, if your mother have told you this is your father and the man is just there, he doesn't show you love. You don't look like him. He doesn't say anything to you. He just there. He doesn't care. He don't ask you for anything. It simply means it could, it could be that your mom is lying. Okay? Then if you are grown, you are of age, start to think of how to do it. Silent DNA test with it. Because some women, I don't know why you wouldn't tell your child the truth. Is it that you slept with a man you are not proud of? or you had a sex, a kind of sex that is an abomination, but it has re resulted to a beautiful child. If you slept with your brother, I'm, I'm just saying no, but why on earth won't you tell a child who the father is? Except you don't know, which maybe you have slept with two men at the same time, the same day, we have late once in a month, even though some of us, sometimes we don't used to know when, at least you have slept with two men that same day, and that month you got pregnant. The one you have said is the father of your child. Go and do silent DNA test with that one. I'm just saying. I don't want to judge you. It's a weird thing to do if you have done it. But if that is your case, go and do the DNA test on your own with one of the men. The one you can see. If it's negative, you begin to know that it's the other one. Which one is you coming to not tell the child anything? Hey, the child wants to talk. You say, hey, do you, after all I've done for you, her fire is waiting for you. Stop putting these kids on men that are not their father. Okay? So please, don't let anybody change you. Tell your truth. 
Stand by your truth. Let it be that the father of your child is the father of your child. Don't let anybody change it for you, my dear. Don't let the society keep you small by forcing you to lie. Hey, if you tell this one, this one don't have money, you tell the other one, or the other one has a wife. I don't care. For those of you that sleep with married men, like you have kids confidently, you have the mind to take him for a married man. Then you should have the mind to speak your truth. Don't chicken out or see men, men will never abandon their child, their blood. Yes. Men, you see men, when they are responsible for that child, like they, they are responsible, even if they are abandoned, they will later come back. But in the case of Mercy, I mean, um, um, Yvonne Nelson, but in the case of Yvonne Nelson, see, the man died. He never looked for her. The man never looked, he, he doesn't care. Yet he didn't say anything to her. Oh, I'm not your father. We women, we are quick to shout, hey, I'll not be your mama, I'll not be your papa, I'll not be your... But women, oh, you, you didn't take care of your dead pit. But men don't talk. They, won't, they just simply won't take care of. So if he's the father of your child, relax. He will come around. Mm -hmm. He will come around. For me, my first baby, I was married. And when I had her, it's not like there was doubt in paternity or anything because I was legally married. So I had her in my husband's house, in her father's house. The only thing is, he just don't want to associate with her because she's physically challenged. So he returned me to my family with a disabled child. He doesn't want to be part of her life because she is physically challenged. But like for my little baby that made me a baby mama, whom I, because of her now, I've become the president of Baby Mama Associate of Africa, which I'm very proud of to be the Ghana branch. You see, even with all that, the ups and downs I go through with our dad, they see some level of concern he shows sometimes. Even though he doesn't have a lot of money, he cannot be there 100% like he should. And in his case, he's not just trying to not be there because of money, but, but it's because he's with a relationship with another woman who feels threatened by me, who feel like if he's close to the child, because of that, he'll be close to me. He tries, she tries to stop him from you know, having a relationship with the daughter. But himself, he knows the truth. Mm -hmm. not be everything in the talk he knows the truth so you see it and this is a mother too a mother too she also have a child for another man who but she don't, this one now she don't want and hey i don't know before you go and do what she doesn't want and he run mat all things are possible on it so all this part we get it you see but there's still level of concern that you do show there's still level of hide and seek concern that he do show. So you get it. So if majority of the time, if you if if you are not sure that that man is the father of your child and truly is not acting well with your child, I think it's time for you to test. Do a DNA test. Save off and test. Save some money up and go for a DNA test and find out and save your child the stress. For me, I feel like Yvonne Nelson have gone through a lot. And once this paternity issue is questionable, it has a question mark. You don't have a good relationship with your father. Even your relationships will be affected. This lady has gone through a lot. I thought I've gone through a lot in life, but just looking at her own story, I can tell that, man, I never see anything. And may I not see? So please, oh, and that is why, please, the society reduce the method of judging. Calm down, okay? Nobody is perfect. People are dealing with a lot, okay? So be kind to people. Um, buy the book and learn from it. And be careful out there. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.